awesome. Nerlens Noel is joining us on the phone. Nerlens, how are you? Oh, good. How are you doing? Doing great. You're uh, in Cleveland, am I correct? Yes, sir. All right. Well, what's this been like for you? You are now six days away from the uh, NBA draft. The excitement. I know you've waited for it your whole life. Are you ready for it? And what has the last uh, few weeks been like? Uh, yeah, I definitely feel I'm ready for it. I mean, it's been a long time coming. I mean, the last few weeks have been, um, I mean, a, a, a lot going on. But, I mean, I've been, you know, definitely staying focused and, you know, sticking to my rehab. Talk to me about your rehab. Uh, we, we talked the other day, and you said to me that you are w- way ahead of schedule. Uh, tell folks about that and how the rehab's been going. You've been down in Birmingham. Uh, yeah, I've been down in Birmingham for most of the summer. I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm ahead of schedule. I mean, I'm doing defensive slides now, and I'm I'm running on um, OTG. Um, I'm able to jog and some light running, so, I mean, it's really coming along. Now there have been a, you and I talked about there have been these stories that have come from national folks talking about uh, teams being worried about the people around you, et cetera. How do you respond to that? People sort of saying that the the folks around you are maybe hurting your draft stock or whatever. Uh, how, how do you respond to all these reports and what what have you made of them? I mean, yeah, that's foolish for me um, for them to say. I mean. I mean, I think it's just, you know, most of what they're saying and what I've seen is, you know, just about agents that didn't get the chance to meet with me. I mean, primarily because I didn't want to meet with so many agents. So I think they felt some type of way that I didn't really um, look to meet with as many as I did. I mean, I I only set out to meet with a few agents. And, um, I mean, just take it from there and meet with those agents a couple times each instead of, you know, going around meeting with um, 15 agents and, you know, getting off track from my rehab. And, I mean, the number one thing, it's for me is to get back on the court, and I knew I wouldn't. Um, it wouldn't benefit me by meeting with so many agents and having to do some team meetings. So I mean, I just really kept my um, schedule, you know, um, with the least things as possible, and so I could really focus on my rehab. Has it been stressful for you? I mean, you know, when you were at Kentucky, I think everybody here uh, loved you during your time, and now you're on sort of a different stage, the pro stage. You get a lot of critics everywhere. Has that been surprising or stressful, the amount of people kind of picking at you and sniping at you? I mean, um, no. I mean, it could get stressful, but I mean, I'm really just staying focused. I mean, they're going to say what they want. I mean, I'm I'm down in Birmingham, Alabama, doing my two days rehab, and I mean, there's nothing else I can do. I mean, they're going to say what they want to say, whether it's true or not. So, I mean, it's, it's not something I can control. So, I'm definitely just staying focused, staying positive, and you know, um, waiting for the big day. Now, the big day is coming Thursday, and right, we we hear a lot of reports. You're in Cleveland today. Are you confident? Do you still think that you're likely to go number one uh, to Cleveland? And if you do, what do you make of getting a chance to play there in Cleveland? Um, yeah, I'm confident. I mean, Cleveland's a great city. I mean, if I'm blessed enough um, to be um, number one of them, I mean, that'd be very, I'd be very fortunate. You know, um, I'm um, definitely looking. Um, that'd be a dream come true for me. But I mean, either way, if I'm not or if I am, I mean, wherever team I go, I mean, I just definitely you know, bring a good positive attitude and just come in and work every day so I can get back on the court as soon as possible. Now, I want to ask you, use sort of your expert opinion here about the team left here in Lexington. New group of guys, some people from your team, some from others that uh, that are going to be on the team next year. Give me your view. What do you think this team at UK is going to be like next year? Do you think they're going to be able to uh, go win a title? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, they got a great um, group of guys. I mean, I, I was in that class at one time, so I know really how good they are. I played with a few of them. And, I mean, yeah, they, I mean, knowing they're young, I mean, um, Coach Cabell will put them through, through some things early on like he did with us. And, I mean, but I'm sure they'll um, respond and react and, you know, really get to playing ball early on. Now, you know the other guys in your draft class, especially the big guys. Alex Lynn, you played against uh, for Maryland. Otto Porter. I, you know, listen, we know you're a humble guy, but let's sell yourself a little bit. If you were going to tell people, why should they pick Nerlens Noel and not, say, Alex Lynn or Otto Porter? Why is Nerlens Noel the guy who should be picked first? Uh, well, I'm not going to doubt talk anybody, but... Uh... I mean, I just definitely feel I bring, like, a, a very deep passion and um, intensity. And, I mean, I got to drive in the mode to get better. And, you know, I believe I'm a great teammate, and I'm always looking out for my teammates. And 
um, you know, I just want to get better and be great. Well, uh, you certainly have the shot blocking part of it down right now. Let me ask you before uh, I let you go. When you look back at your time in Lexington, we were just talking before you got on here. The old Miss game is the thing I remember most about you and your work off the court. Honestly, those are the two things that stand out. When you look back at your time at Lexington, the fans, Calipari, the team, et cetera, what do you think are the memories that will stand out to you most about your time at Kentucky? Oh, man, just definitely the fans. I mean, just how much love they show. And, I mean, just how dedicated and committed they were to the program. I mean, that's something you'll never forget. I mean, those are the stories you'll tell your kids about how, how crazy the fans were in a good way. I mean, they were just so passionate. And, I mean, that's that's definitely why, I mean, I cherish UK so much because um, all the love and all the support. So, I mean, that's something I'll never forget. Well, Nerlens, whether you end up in Cleveland, Orlando, Washington, Charlotte, whatever, I know you're going to have a ton of Kentucky fans following you. We appreciate you taking the time to talk to us, and good luck on Thursday night. All right, thank you.